right, let's talk a little bit about function arithmetic. You guys can see I have these two functions, f of x equals x minus 5 and g of x equals x squared minus 1. And one of the things I brought up in the lecture is there's two ways to answer this problem. So let's say that I give you f plus g of 1. All right, I want us to find f plus 1 or f of 1 plus g of 1, rather. All right? So, like I just said, there's two ways to do it. One way, all right, is to actually find our new function f plus g of x. In other words, let's just add up f of x and g of x. If I do, I'm going to get x minus 5 plus x squared minus 1. I'll combine whatever like terms I have, and I end up with x squared plus x minus 6. All right, that's my new function of adding f and g. All right, can I plug 1 into this function? Sure I can. I can plug in 1 and I get 1 squared plus 1 minus 6, which simplifies to 2 minus 6 or negative 4. All right, and so again, let me just step us back through it. I added my functions f and g and got a new function in terms of x. I then plugged 1 into that new function and I got negative 4. All right, but I claim there's another way to do it. All right, meaning I can get my values first, my function values, and then add them together. Okay, so let's get f of 1. I plug 1 into f and I get 1 minus 5 and that gives us negative 4. I plug 1 into g and I get 1 squared minus 1 which is 0 and then to add f of 1 and g of 1 I simply add negative 4 and 0 and get negative 4. The same answer I got the other way. So again all I'm saying is that we can add our functions and then plug in 1, or we can plug in 1 and then add our function values. Both answers will get us what we need.